Hello, Mr. Jimmy. How are you going? Morning. Morning. It's actually 10.48, so we're late leaving today. So, Paradise yeah. Dam campsite. Yeah. And we're headed to? Uh, going to a Caribbean park today to um, Mingo Crossing. So it's, only bit, it's only about 60 or 70 k's away. So yeah. Actually on the same river that fills that dam. Um, but you sort of got to go around back in the mountains to get to it so. so that was recommended to us by the lady at the um at the chemist chemist yeah. i was going to call it drugstore at the drugstore <laughs> so we'll go we'll go there that was a good spot there um it's currently changing hands it used to be uh, owned by the council and the water board now the water board have completely taken over um but they're doing some refurbishing and stuff before they open the caravan park part of it again so at the moment they're allowing half a dozen vans to camp down near the boat ramp um, and we were lucky at the moment they said they got no f post machine and no cash receipt book so um, they're just letting you stay there for free so we got three days there free camping which was a bonus and it even has toilets yeah, even toilets though we too. didn't need them <laughs> and i work kids swimming in the dam there but there's a bit of um a little green algae there at the moment, so I get issues with my ears in fresh water, so I'm not going in water with blue green algae. Not really. So, bloody hot day today, it was um, got to 35.8 degrees, almost 36 degrees, which I think 35.8 is 100 in the old language, but um. We've come to a little caravan park called um, Mingaloo, oh, sorry, Mingo Crossing, which is on the Burnett River. So where we were yesterday down at Paradise Lake is down at the lower end of this river. So we're only about in a straight line, 50 k's from where we were yesterday. But we took a bit of a scenic route, probably 100 k's of driving. But um, what a beautiful spot. Um, the lady was just saying that it was packed here last week during school holidays but it's pretty much empty now it's us up there a lot the the sites are really good they've got these um hedges either side which stop the shade the you know the um sites run north south and then the afternoon sun gets shaded from that hedge in the morning sun gets shaded from that hedge what a great idea but um yeah we've got the air conditioning cranking in the van there because it was um Pretty toasty when we arrived here at about uh, two o'clock, but we'll go down to the river and have a look. Second day at um, 
Mingo Crossing Caravan Park and it's um, so it's Australia Day though, so a lot more people here today than there was yesterday but it's been that hot there hasn't been that much activity on the water it's uh, been got up to I think 38 degrees today so it's now 10 past 5 in the afternoon and it's um, dropped down to 32 so this is a nice quiet spot everybody sitting down by the river trying to get a little bit of a breeze so this is the view from the bridge at Mingo Crossing quite a wide river So we uh, decided to come into Bundaberg for a, a few days because we had um, first mechanical issue of the trip had a uh, battery fry itself yesterday so I got up yesterday morning and started the car and got this um, really bad uh, so I suppose you call it like a rotten egg smell um, and uh, the battery was like really hot to touch within a few minutes of starting the car so it was um, boiling itself or something so anyway we uh, came into Bunbu and got a replacement battery and then whilst we're on batteries we also had an issue with the uh, the GoTro, GoPro batteries all swelling up from overcharging so um, we've got a little charger that sits in the glove box while we're driving and uh, that's probably not good for the batteries because they're on charge pretty much the whole time so I've had to throw away um, four of my five GoPro batteries so I've only got uh, this one's going to get thrown away and the one in the camera is the only one that's any good now so according to um, JB Hi-Fi's website in Bundaberg they've got a couple of them so we'll go down there and see if we can get some of them today but uh, other than that we've had no mechanical issues so far this trip apart from my the antenna's coming loose, so I'll give that a bit of a tighten up. So we've uh, come for a little bit of a drive down to uh, Elliot Beach, or Elliot Heads, which is um, when you found a new friend. Good job. Which is um, about 20 k's from Bundaberg. And, uh, yeah, pretty beautiful beach, slow tide at the moment. So <laughs> Just perfect weather at the moment, it's only about 24 degrees, it's only going to get to 29 today, so it's a little bit more bearable than the temperature inland. We've got to see what the water temperature's like. Oh. 
Beautiful and warm. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful beach. So that over the other side of that horizon there is the Elliott River mouth. And looks like they're getting ready for some sort of event on the beach this morning, being Saturday morning here. I suppose there'll be some surf competition or something on. Yeah, get washed off the rocks. Oh. Yeah. So this is the residential part of Elliot Head. It's all um, reserved all the way along the ocean side. They've got a block of land for sale down there for 500 grand for an 800 square metre block. Bargain, I think. Considering what we're paying for blocks of land in Berwick and Clyde these days. This is uh, Coral Cove, which is just north of Elliot Heads. Pretty popular spot for snorkeling because there's a lot of um, turtle hatcheries through here. I would have thought that turtles would have been more in the sand, not so much in the rocks. Probably when they're little, they come and hide up in the rocks. Oh. Ah. It's beautiful. Is that ocean or is that just like real estate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I this is uh, well, this, this is, it's the Pacific Ocean but because Fraser Island starts just out there somewhere so it's pretty calm here. Yeah. And then so Fraser Island gets closer to the mainland it's further down you go. It's, it's beautiful out there isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well what are you doing most of your time? Yeah, Which look. direction are you looking? That way? Why are you looking that way, Jimmy? Real estate. Real estate. It's hard break habits, mate. <laughs> there are some beautiful houses, though, with beautiful views. Yes, very nice. Uh-huh. All right, let's go and have a look at some more of the beautiful views in real estate. If you like, yeah. So it's another beautiful 33 degree day in Bundaberg and at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10 o'clock in the morning, and um, we've already been up early and headed to the um, markets. markets. Yeah, so it's good. But now we're heading to the Bundaberg Distillery because Mr. Jim is in desperate need of a bottle of spiced rum. Sugar fix. Yeah. At least um, we've done the tour twice now, so I don't think we'll do the tour. We'll just go straight for the alcohol. Good idea. We'll have an ice cream. Ice cream, yum. My favorite. <laughs> 